My blog group is this. Can I get married to this? My blog group is this. Can I get married to this? Please. Blood grouping and HP genotype or HP electrophoresis test, these are two different stops. Blood group will not stop you from getting married to someone. But it is done in order to know exactly what the outcome could be. Because for a lady, the blood group is so, so vital. Since if that lady is righteous negative, it is necessary such that your doctor understands it in order to prevent racial incompatibility in future. That is why it is so necessary, so vital for you to know that blood group as a couple. But what will actually hinder you to proceed with a relationship is when it has to do with your HP electrophoresis test, which is done to know your HP genotype. It is different from blood group. Please, let us try to understand this. Whether your blood group A, positive or A negative, B positive or B negative, A B positive or A B negative, O positive or O negative, you can get married to any blood grouping. There is no issue with that. Because medically, no matter your blood group as a lady, medically there is a solution when you have an issue with racial incompatibility. But for the HB electrophoresis that you do to know your HB genotype, Medically, it is difficult for that to handle if you have a child and now that child is sickler. So we should not get confused. A lot of people keep asking the question, I am this blood group, so can I get married to this blood group? If you have blood group A, you can get married to any blood group. If you have blood group B, you can get married to any blood group. If you have blood group AB, you can get married to any blood group. If you have blood group O, you can get married to any blood group. It is important that we know. But if your HP genotype, which is one of the tests, the test which is HB electrophoresis test, is done to know your HB genotype. If that HB genotype is AS, meaning you are a carrier of the sickle cell trait, and your partner is also AS, meaning he also he or she is also a carrier of the sickle cell trait, you are advised, you are advised not to proceed with that relationship. And that is where it is important that you go now. Go now and you run this test. Go now and you do this checkup. Now that you are not even planning to get married. If you do it and you see that both of you are carrying out this research, it is advisable that you keep your lane, your partner, go and look for another partner. You also want to look for another partner early enough. But if you delay this first two tests, blood growth and the HB electrophoresis, if you delay to do these two tests and you're doing it later and it happens that your HB genotype is AS, you are doing it just when you're trying to get married and your HB genotype is AS, your HB your, uh, your partner's genotype is a a a AS as well, then it becomes really, really tough for you to proceed. And because it is tough for you to proceed, medically, it's going to affect you emotionally. A lot of people cry. Imagine being in a relationship for four years, building this relationship, struggling that everything should move rightly. Praying to God that you've seen the, the right person after building this relationship only for you to realize at the third end when you enter the doctor's office, you do your HB, you, you do your premarital testing only for your doctor to tell you, oh come on, both of you are carrying the sickle cell trait, it's advisable that you should not proceed with the relationship. This is so, so terrible. This is so, so dangerous. It's so, so disgusting. It is very hard for any person to handle. Sister Vanessa, welcome. Good evening. I hope you're doing great. So I encourage you, we encourage you, please, go for your pre-relationship testing, not even pre-marital testing. Go for it right now. Do not wait. If you're waiting, you might be waiting until that final time which you'll be trying to run this checkup. It is already late, and once it is late, it becomes difficult for you, it becomes difficult for your partner, it becomes difficult for your own emotional strength. Imagine that you've built a relationship for four years, 
only for your doctor, only for you to see that you are not compatible to move on with this relationship with your partner. What are you going to do? That becomes so, so difficult. What are you going to do? Maybe you met him when you were 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Daddy knows that you that they have they have their uh, uh, their daughter have seen a husband. Mom knows that their daughter have seen a husband. Every other person knows. They are just waiting for a final day. And now you are now thirty four years only for you to go. You are now thirty two years only for you to go for pre marital testing, and you are told that. It will be difficult for people to proceed with this relationship, with this marriage, because you are AA, you are AS, he is AS. So the advice, go for your pre-relationship testing, not pre-marital testing. Pre-marital testing is already at the end. When it happens, it is difficult for you to stop because you are already there. The truth is the percentage is very slim for AS, for carrier of the sequestered trade, but, but to be on a safe side, go and you're sure of yourself, go and you can confirm that you are this, such that this can be aborted. We have families that are struggling right now. We have families that are in difficult situation just because of this. There are people who've had maybe two, three, four children who are all sickle cell, who have sickle cell. This is really difficult. No matter what people will tell you, it is tough. It is tough. In terms of the child, in terms of you spending money, it is tough. So please, go for your pre-relationship testing. Do not wait and go for pre-marital. So within the pre-relationship testing or pre-marital testing, what other things will be done? So we are made mention of blood group, we are made, made, made mention of HP, electrophoresis, those are the first two. That one has to do with the genes. Now concerning the, concerning the STDs, now this one is also just open. For the STDs just open, it will depend on how your bucket is. Okay, so we have syphilis, we have hepatitis B, we have hepatitis C, we have chlamydia, we have HIV. Depending on how you are financially, you can proceed to do other testing, like even the hormonal checkup, and your, your husband to be can do sperm count. But it all depends on how you are now financially. I'm talking because I'm in an area where things are tough. So we cannot be claiming. There are people that cannot even afford to even do even the, the genotype.